All right, so this is uh, another video on the network security config for Android. Um, uh, start with, this follows a code lab here. I'll put a link in the description for that. It's a Google code lab. Um, but I'm going to get the code right here. This is the repo. Uh, I'll put a link to that as well. So, all right, so let's clone this project. Um, so it's a directory, but it's got the server side code and the Android code. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna go to open, and I'm just gonna pick this one. This is, this is the Android app. You can see here the app, Gradle. So I'm just gonna click that folder and click open. And we'll do it in this window. All right, now that that's done building, uh, first thing we wanna do, I'm gonna switch this to project view. Uh, let's open it up. All right, <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's make, a network security config. I think it's XML, isn't it? Yeah, XML. Add that. Let's just do the code. All right, so. Uh, all right, so here's the the code for the network security config. I'm gonna paste it into here. All right, what does it say? It's a, it's got this tag, and then there is a base config, and it just says clear text, traffic permitted equals false. All right, so we want our manifest to point to the, actually, before we point to it, let's just run it and show what it currently does in its current state. All right, there we go, it shows a list of Posts and it's got a profile picture. There we go. Okay. So now let's point to, if you look at first, actually, let's look at the Gradle. I think it's Gradle properties. And you can see the post URL. This is where it fetches, um, it fetches the, the network data. You can see it's HTTP, not HTTPS. So that's a problem. Now, Let's go in here, let's get rid of this, and we'll do network security config, and we'll point to uh, this network security config we just added right here. We're pointing to this one. All right, now let's run it. Should fail. And it does. We got a clear text uh, problem there. Good, so now we have to fix this. <clears throat> And let's change this right here. We're going to change it to HTTPS. We got to sync the Gradle up again, and then we'll run it. And I'm going to grab this URL. Okay, let's look at. So now it works. Let's look at what actually is there. So you can see on this uh, this uh, URL. It's HTTPS, the browser likes it. It's got the good SSL, secure. And you see the profile images are also HTTPS, good. And that is why everything loads up correctly. All right, <clears throat> so, all right, now, um, let's look at a different one. Let's look at V2, go to V2 here. Um, and I'm, I already know the code lab, but this isn't the code lab. So I'm following along. Now V2, you notice there's a problem. It, it loads the post except for the profile images. So let's go back here. I'll change that. So let's see what, what's actually getting passed through. We'll change this to V2. Uh, and you can see these HTTP profile images. Uh, that's the problem. They're clear text. So that's what it doesn't like. 
Uh, it does not permit clear text because of the network security config. All right, so let's um, now let's look at v3 of this. V3. I'll sync that up. Load it up again. And there we go, it shows the profile images. Now let's look at what that actually shows here. Let's look at V3. And you can see these profile images are HTTPS, which it likes, good. All right, so this is with a backend server uh, uh, handled by Google APIs. Nice of them to give that to the community. So now let's run this um, locally. So, uh, so let's run the server. Okay. So here's the the project. That's the secure configs the Android app. Let's um, let's run. Let's actually let's look what's in the server. Okay. It's got. Uh, open SSL config, text file, a data folder. What's in data? Okay, images and the post JSON. Okay. Okay. All right, so now let's. Um, you need to install HTTP server. It's an NPM module. You need to have Node to run NPM. So I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just going to show you how to install it the NPM, NPM module, uh, NPM install, HTTP, HTTP server, and then uh, use the G for global. Um, oh, you have to run it as sudo. I already have it installed, but you have to run this as sudo if you get that error. Uh, so anyways, that's how you do it. Now you can run it. Uh, Run it. Use HTTP server. Actually, first, let me. Where am I at again? LS. Okay. So HT, HTTP server. Uh, the data dash p, and and then we're gonna run on port eighty eighty. Okay. So let's make sure that actually works. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, there we go. So it's it's hosted. It's being served right here. Excellent. Um, so that's running. Now we want to. Uh, <clears throat> so um, we want to do a re reverse shell on that port. So our app will uh, uh, have will have a reverse shell on uh, port eighty eighty. So ADB reverse, maybe TCP, port 8080, TCP 8080. Okay, now we need to change uh, change this. Okay, so um, on the example, it says just to type localhost. Sometimes that doesn't work. It's it will work for sure if you just type out uh, the actual address, uh, IP address. So one two seven zero zero one, and then port eighty eighty. Okay, so uh, we'll use that as the post URL. Let's sync it up. Let's run it again. All right, and it did not work um, because let's look at posts. Oh, it's because this is not signed. Um, this server, this local server, is not signed. It's not. It doesn't have a signed certificate. See, uh, that's why it won't load. So that's correct. It should not load because we have our network security config. It says clear text traffic not permitted. All right, so <clears throat> let's stop this. Let me stop the server. Control C to stop. Clear this. 
All right, next, let's uh, create a certificate authority. So we'll do open SSL, gen RSA, output. Uh, 2048. Okay, so that made the key. Now we got to sign it. <clears throat> or that made the CA. We got to sign it now. All right, create the DER format certificate for Android. Okay, now let's look around here and see what it made. So it made that certificate and the pen file, private key, pen file. Okay, good. We're good to go now. Um, okay, now we need to start the server using uh, the newly generated certificates. All right, now that's started. Um, now let's try that again. Uh, still did not work. Oh, it didn't work because HTTP, so this is using HTTP, not HTTPS, and our server is now signed. So if we were to look at that, if we go here. It doesn't like it because it's self-signed. Yeah, it's self-signed. That's what it doesn't like. Oops. Okay. But it is up and running. Okay, so now uh, let's change that to HTTPS. And we'll run it again. It doesn't like it. Now we need to update the network security config with the debugs overrides. Okay, so that's the certificate. We need to make this certificate. So we need to um, we need to copy and paste that certificate into here. So uh, let's make a new resource directory. It'll be of type raw. And then uh, we'll get that, um, what is that, debug certificate, that CRT. Let's copy that, <clears throat> and we'll paste it in there. OK. <clears throat> there we go. So. Uh, let's start. Let's start this from the beginning. So you see uh, HTTPS, and it's the local host port 8080. That's what it's pointing to. That's our URL. Um, the certificate, the network security config, it has these debug overrides, and it has these uh, debug certificate. And this is also this is the system certificate provided by the Android OS. And our debug certificate is this certificate which we generated from the server. And you can see now everything works as expected.